Hello viewers, welcome back. This is Cristobal Dina from Trinity Software. Let's see about split method in Python in this video. Split method is used to break a string into list of strings by the specified separator. The syntax for split method is you have to take a string dot split method and it takes two arguments which are optional. Separator is the first argument and max split is the second argument. Both these arguments are optional. So let me take a string and split it without using this optional arguments. S yes, equal to learn python from basic. Now I am just going to split this using the split method in python without passing any arguments. So this method will break this string into a list of strings. Okay. Learn is the first element of the list, second, third and fourth element. So this split method is useful in situations where we need to break down a large string into smaller strings. Let's see about the first argument now. So the separator is actually a delimiter. The string splits at this specified separator and if it is not provided then any white space is a separator. So in this case the string is split based on the white space. Okay. Now let us use a separator with a different string. I am just going to modify this string by using a comma here. Learn python comma from basic. Now let me split this string using split method with a separator comma. So this will split based on the delimiter comma. So comma is present here. So learn python is the first element of the list and from basic becomes the second element of the list. Let's move on to the second argument max split. You can give any number as the second argument. So this max split number tells us to split the string into maximum of provided number of times and its default value will be minus 1 which means that there are no limits on the number of times a string can be split. In this case, we didn't specify the max split, right? If the max split is not defined in the split function, the entire string will be scanned and Python separates this whenever a delimiter is encountered. If max split is specified, then the output will have a length of max split plus 1. So let me take another string. S yes, equal to. I'll remove this comma now. Learn Python from basic to advance. Now let me split this with s yes dot split. The first argument is empty space and max split is 2. So the output will have a length of max split plus 1. It will be split into 3 strings. So here learn python and the remaining content in the third string. Totally the length will be in max split plus 1. In case if I give it as 3 the output will contain four elements. So learn will become the first element python then from third element and basic to advance will become the fourth element of the list. Fine. By default if I just give x dot split alone it will be splitted based on the delimiter and this minus one it's a default max split value. Let me take another string s1 equal to which is better python java c++ now i want to split this based on this question mark so s1 dot split question mark so this will be split in this way okay here give two it means that the output will have a length of three elements right then we can recombine a string that has been already split in python this can be performed by concatenating the strings. This concatenation of strings can be performed using the join method. So now what is stored in S1? We have this string in S1, right? Split this, store it in a variable L. S1 dot split of question mark. So that L contains the list of strings. Now we can recombine the string by using this method. Quotes an empty space dot join method of L. In this way we can recombine the string and this python split function only works on string variables. For any other data type variable we have to convert that to string using the 
function is tr let's take an decimal point number 125.86 in this case i want to split this number into integer and decimal parts use str of f dot split method based on dot this will separate integer part and the decimal part that's it about split method in python thanks for watching if you like this video kindly share and subscribe